Hey guys, welcome to Noah's Gaming PCs with another quick video. Um, so this happens with Intel as well as AMD, but uh, uh, this motherboard that I, I just put a new CPU in, I'm getting this message. So let's take a look at the message. Basically it says, this is a BIOS message saying, oh, new PC, new, I mean, new CPU installed. Um, something about uh, the FTPM slash PSP NV structure change. So, you know, we don't need to worry too much uh, to concern ourselves, but you have two options. You can reset the FTMP. And if you have a uh, bit locker or encryption enabled, the system will, will not boot without a recovery key. The other option is press N to keep the previous and continue system reboot. But uh, FTPMP will not enable, will not enable in the, in the new CPU, you can swap back to the old one. So basically you want to go with option Y. Uh, we don't need to worry about BitLocker because we've never installed BitLocker. BitLocker is, uh, or, enc or encryption, is an encryption thing if you're worried about um, people getting to your, onto your computer. So uh, we will go with option one because we, uh, we don't want to resort to anything that was previous. We just installed a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Y on the keyboard. And there you go. So it's going to reset. It's going to reset here. And I, it should not give you that message. Um, I can't remember if I, this SSD that I have installed here uh, has already OS or it's going to, it's not going to be able to boot into anything. Let's see what happens here. So let's see. It's, it's, it's trying to do some stuff. Okay. Yeah. I think I have the OS. I have a Windows OS. Let me see what it is. But anyway, that's how you solve that problem. If you ever have that issue, you just uh, installed. Yep. There was the Windows OS already. Nice. I don't have to install any of my new, any of my games. I can just uh, continue testing some. So be on the lookout guys for some uh, testing. This is a Resin 5 4500 CPU. Very affordable. Sub $100. It's like 70 something dollars, 74, $75 at the time of this recording. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of FPS uh, benchmarks with different games, Fortnite, Minecraft, uh, AAA titles, Lara Croft, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, Modern Warfare, Warzone uh, 2.0, all that good games, that guys, that we all like. So anyway, that's it. That's how you solve this problem. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is Noah's Gaming PCs. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. Check out my Etsy store where I have great budget uh, computers. And let me know if it, I can also build a custom computer for you. You guys tell me kind of what you're looking to do, what type of games, and um, more content, content like this coming out soon. Thank you, guys. Again, Noah's Gaming PCs. I'll see you guys on the next video. And I just teach you guys what to do when you get a message like that uh, when you install the new CPU into a different motherboard. And the motherboard will complain and say, oh, I don't know the CPU. So uh, just hit the Y key or whatever um, option it is to just reset. Uh, don't go with the previous one. You, it's just going to be a complete reset again. Uh, go back to the beginning of this video where I talked about that. If you, have any, if you want to further clarifications, I'm happy to respond to all your comments on my YouTube videos. Again, Noah's Gaming PCs. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one and uh, uh, continue gaming and uh, make sure that you can uh, don't overpay for gaming computers. Check out my offerings or um, also I have my how-to tip videos on how to do everything gaming or PC computer tech related. Thanks again, guys. See you on the next video.